Hey everyone. So day 34 of my transformation blog and today has been uh, eventfully uneventful. If that makes any sense. Um, so I was supposed to have a important uh, meeting today that was going to start and kick off some new things in my life and unfortunately that meeting got postponed. Um, and it got postponed because of a rumored um, Ku Klux Klan rally that was supposed to be happening in downtown Durham, which is where I was. Uh, local police evacuated the building and all of the other buildings uh, for fear that some kind of violence or riots would uh, commence. And we kind of left it as, okay, we will try to reschedule for early next week. And I went home because at that point I was more concerned for my boys who go to school in the next town over um, where I live <clears throat> than in anything else. Uh, thankfully, it became non-news. Uh, the counter protesters gathered in downtown Durham uh, as many as 500 uh, and the Klan rally that was scheduled rumored um, no one really knows the full story at this point. Uh, it never happened. And as I would like to leave it there, but at this point, it's disconcerting. Last weekend, I travel into Virginia and the events in Charlottesville happened. Today, I'm headed into Durham for a meeting and today's events happen. And as much as I would really like, I would personally really, really like uh, to believe that, you know, my spirit, my soul was here to do something particular uh, for all of humanity. Um, I keep getting the hunch more and more that part of my experience, part of why I'm here uh, and part of what I'm destined to do is tied to the fact that uh, at least in this lifetime, I'm black. And I find myself personally in a crossroads with that. Um, partially because one of the things that has always been my greatest uh, challenge, um, roadblock, has been the the dealings, the struggles um, of dealing with and being perceived as and the stereotypes that go with and all the other mess that goes with uh, being black, particularly in this country. Um, and my hope, my hope was that in this transformation, in the uh, path that I have been working on and am working on taking was that that would not be uh, necessarily or needed to be something that was race specific because frankly, my care is for all people. But the story keeps coming back to racial strife, racial divisions, uh, in some cases, racial hatred. Um, and you typically, uh, it comes back to that racial hatred toward black people. Um, I find it very interesting that between the events last weekend and what would have been an event today, um, both happened nearly 20 years to the day um, of the KKK rally that happened in Pittsburgh. Uh, while I was going to school there. It's actually the summer before my junior year of college. And like these things keep happening in very close proximity to me. Um, and I realize they happen all over the country, so I'm not trying to single myself out. But it does seem to be a fortuitous 
uh, coincidence or synchronicity that this keeps popping up either at or near where I'm at. And so I asked the question to the community at large. Uh, I've been asking the question to the universe and asking and asking and asking and asking and asking. But I'm going to ask this question to the community at large. Um, and particularly those members of the community who are women or uh, people of color. Sorry to exclude my white male brothers, but um, that's where the question is coming. So what are your thoughts in terms of the calling of your heart, the calling of your spirit? on the particular demographic that you are a part of um, and the particular uh, plight of that demographic in today's society in uh, this country or which or whichever country you're in um, how much of that is necessarily the hang-ups of an old story and limitations of an old story and possibly just ego driven and how much of that may well be this is the calling of your heart um you know i thought back to um i thought back to kyle's post uh, kyle's uh, statement uh in the limitation game of you know what if we have 1400 martin luther kings in here and it sounded great and it sounded wonderful in this kind of vague leadership uh, person of influence or power um, sense, but I hadn't taken it to the extent of what if it is something like that? Um, what, what if it is, you know, if what if my calling is to be something of a leader in uh, this fight against race hatred, um, particularly as it comes into the African American community. I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's been kind of a back and forth in my life for a long time. And I'm still trying to get the answers on it. But I can say, as my spirit spoke to me, as my heart spoke to me about the 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 dream that I've been pursuing it was never some it was never meant to be anything that was race specific if anything it was meant to help the poor and the downtrodden no matter what color they were but I find as we go further and further into um these divisions of love and hate that as aspects of that hate seem to follow, uh, follow me, follow this human definition of race and my categorization of race, um, that I'm asking the question again, and I don't know how much of that is just my old ego story uh, speaking into my life or how much of that is the universe speaking to me uh, by the fact that this is happening in increasing measure around me. So community, I I'd like your thoughts on that because uh, I'm really looking um, to try and make some peace with where my trajectory is and where it might where it should be where where it might be and if you have examples of how you've had a similar experience play out in your life i'd love to hear them so definitely no answers in this one but one big question uh, that i'm going to keep asking the universe for answers on and hopefully i find one um, in the meantime we'll just keep asking and uh, hopefully all will be well I uh, don't know where you are right now, but if you're anywhere that's in a hotbed of um, violence or you know, tension, uh, please keep safe. Have a great day. God bless.